Al Roker explores the extraordinary love affair of our pet nation. Dateline with Stone Phillips. Tonight, a very special Dateline as Al Roker explores how doggone far and how far out we go for our beloved pets. America has gone to the dogs and the cats, horses, reptiles, fish, birds, you name it. We own 360 million pets and they are big business. This year alone, we'll drop a whopping $36 billion on everything from gourmet puppy chow to designer doggy duds. In fact, while many pet lovers pamper their furry friends with a little extra frisbee time in the park or a game of catch in the backyard, an increasing number now take their pet love to a whole different level. Surveys of pet lovers reveal 83% call themselves their pet's mommy or daddy. 78% confess they coo to their pets much like a parent would to a baby. Puppy love goes so deep, 93% of dog owners say they'd risk their life for them. Doggy daycares are so popular now, getting into some is like trying to get into Yale or Harvard. Good morning, Dahlia. At Central Bark in Fort Lauderdale, a dog's day mirrors a child's in daycare. Co-owner Chris Gaba says, there's plenty of playtime. Good boy, very good. Even time for an afternoon nap. They're just like children. They need that time to wind down. They get a snack. The classical music and the aromatherapy help to chill them out. For the worry warts who want to know what their dogs think of it all, this is Eli. Central Bark taps into the services of animal communicator Joan Ranquet. So I'm going to get quiet and chat with him. Ranquette claims she can talk to animals via telepathic communication. Eli, a doggy daycare regular, tells Ranquette his previous owner left him feeling a little insecure. He was imprinted with an idea that there may be something wrong with him. And there's nothing wrong with him. He's gorgeous. If you'd like to meet more celebrity pets and pick up some tips on pet care, you can log on to our website. The address is dateline.msnbc.com.